All right, so today is day 191. 191 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. Been taking videos every day, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And tomorrow is water change day. And it always seems like the day before water change day, they get a little bit sluggish. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is there, seems like they're ready for their water change after a week. I've been doing about 50% water change every week. And I usually start with some hand feeding. Let's see if this guy will come up and eat a little bit of cod out of my hand here. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have a taker. It's funny, it seems like the day before water change they don't hand feed really good compared to all the other days. Ah, uh, let's see. I may have cut this stuff a little bit too small. <laughs> Here's a little piece of cod here. Ooh, they're both coming up now. All right, let's see if we can give this guy a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at <laughs> They both missed it. They both missed it. Ah, uh, let's see if I can grab it again here. Maybe, maybe. Ah, I got it now. Ah, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> They're fighting over it and neither one of them got it. All right, so I'll do another, I guess I'll just do a pinch of random fish here. Do one more little pinch of hand feeding. If we can get one to come up. One or both, one or both. <laughs> Look at that, wow. They're getting super friendly. Yeah, they're pretty alert today. Even the day before the water change. Not too bad. Still getting some of that crazy catfish foam on the top. Which it seems like I haven't seen that foam for like about a month. And for whatever reason, the foam came back. It's kind of the weirdest thing. When I first started, it was really foamy. I don't know if it was uh, the transition from, you know, going from an old unused hot tub that's been sitting here empty for 20 years <laughs> and then switching it over to a catfish pond. And kind of the funny thing is, is I didn't really, uh, I didn't really condition it or clean it or anything. I started thinking afterwards, I was thinking, man, I could have had some chemicals in this hot tub that I probably should have tried to wash out really good before I put my catfish in there. <laughs> but it seems like they did good and they're doing great now. All right, so I'm feeding a mixture of three different types of fish. This is cod, tilapia, and mahi-mahi that I got from the grocery store. And I'm gonna finish up with some underwater video. Thank you. 